Hello, today we are going to our apocalypse shelter to cook some sausages. This is our apocalypse shelter. We're basically doomsday preppers, but this tiny little house here was built by Lauer's uncle quite a long time ago. And then as kids, Lauer and her family would come up here and do barbecues and stuff like that. That's the path going down. It's kind of been left for a while and uh, we're gonna try to fix it up and make it a little safer. As you saw the bridge, which is down there, is not really in the great, greatest of condition. Uh, our fire pit, which has a nice little grill that uh, attaches to that metal rod right there so you can cook whatever over the fire. And uh, a place to put a picnic table, some firewood, and then this fence right here keeps you from falling off this cliff face right here, which is pretty sweet. I actually want to figure out how to do some rappelling or some rope work with this cliff face. Um, I wish there was a good place to put up a slack line, but it's super steep. And I haven't figured out a way to put up a high line or anything here. Something that's pretty cool about this little house is that it has a tile roof. And uh, this is pretty typical for this area, at least older houses. But uh, some of these tiles can be really old. Like some of these guys might be 100 years old and uh, they just basically stay good forever. I did get the key also, which I think this is the same key that they used on the Ark, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's huge. It's huge. And here's the inside of our house. I gotta open the windows. But it's got a little stove right here for heating. And then, oh, oh, I left my rabbit in here the other day. My Easter rabbit. And it didn't look like any mice got him. I'm gonna take the bunny, put him outside so he is in his natural habitat. Laura is making our sausage fire. The Swiss take their sausages seriously. Look at the size of that fire. So the expert here has informed me that the fire is now ready and worthy to cook a Swiss sausage. Now, from my thinking, it's a sausage. You just stick it on a stick and uh, you cook it over the fire. It's good to go. But I found out there is a certain way you must prepare a Swiss sausage to make it taste like a Swiss sausage. I'm not really sure. I think what she does is she cuts it looks like four stripes down the middle, and then she cuts the ends into quarters. As much as Philip wants to make fun of it, the secret is it gets very crisp on the ends if you do it like this, and that's awesome. So this is basically the perfect sausage. <laughs> because Laura taught me how to make the perfect sausage, I'm gonna now teach her how to make the perfect marshmallow. We got these marshmallows at Migros, I think, and they have an American flag on them. They're the only ones, so they must be good. <clears throat> Here's your guide to making the perfect marshmallow. You take the marshmallow, you put it on a stick. Yeah. And then of course you have your perfect bed of coals and you put it in the fire. On so you fire. have coals, but you put it in the fire. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Your marshmallow is already black and on fire. That's not the perfect marshmallow. It is the perfect marshmallow. Look at that. Shit. You're kidding me. That's not the perfect marshmallow. It's almost as good as American marshmallows, but not quite. 